Republican gubernatorial candidate Lee Zeldin's home part of a crime scene on Sunday afternoon and a mark from the bullet that grazed the wooden fence outside still visible from the street. I definitely did not think that the next time that I'd be standing in front of crime scene tape, it would be my own house. The Long Island congressman was on his way home from a Columbus Day parade in the Bronx with his wife just after two o'clock when he got a call from one of his twin daughters. They're sitting there doing their homework at a kitchen table and there was gunfire that went off around them. They didn't know if these people were trying to get into the house. Police tell us it was a drive-by shooting with no apparent connection to the GOP nominee. Security cameras caught two teenage victims hiding under his front porch. One of the bullets landing just 30 feet from where Zeldin's daughters were sitting. The two people who were shot were laying down just 10 feet from where they were sitting. Uh, one person was uh, lying down right underneath the porch. Another person was just a couple of feet away lying underneath a bush. Suffolk County Police Commissioner Rodney Harrison stopped short of providing a motive, but says he sees too many guns on the street. As a police department, we got to do better. We got to make sure we're getting the guns out of these individuals hands, making sure that we're uh, holding people accountable. As for Zeldin, who was on Fox and Friends Monday morning, he fired back at critics who accused him of using the shooting to campaign. All across the state in the last week and a half, we have had people who have gotten murdered. This is a reality we should be confronting head on. Neighbor Tanya Vasquez hopes more will be done to cut down on crime. It's scary. I have kids, so for me, I worry about them, you know, worry about what they're growing up in. As for Governor Kathy Hochul, she says she's pleased Zeldin's family is safe and says it's a reminder everyone needs to work together to get guns off the street. Now anyone with information is asked to call Crime Stoppers. That number 800-220-TIPS. In Yakmik, Long Island, Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News.